Does anyone have something sharp? Tap desk, Jay. <laughs> She's taking your spot on top of the United. <laughs> what are those? I'm what do you got there? I'm gonna get a song behind you. Yeah, you gotta get that. If you wanna come party with me, I'll take you out tonight. Let's have Hi, my name's Paul, here from Tap Desk J. Today we're going to be reviewing Flying Fish's Forever Unloved Sandy, or as it's also known, FU Sandy. It's a sort of hybrid wheat ale, and it was actually made using a brand new kind of hop that's never been used in beer before. We had it on tap at Passion Vines and it was really good. And then they uh, did a run of bottles. So call around, it's gonna be hard to find. Uh, we, we only got six bottles in and they're $8.99 each. And we're gonna pour this and give this a try and let you know what we think. All right, this is Todd Graff Upper from Nub TV. We're here today with Paul from Tap Desk J. We're doing a little beer review on Flying Fish. Forever on Love Sandy. Go ahead and give it a little taste here and tell you how I feel about it. It's a nice bold flavor. Uh, goes down very smooth. Tastes kind of on the same lines of like uh, Hop Devil, but a lot smoother. A little, uh, little less thick. But all in all, pretty good. All right, this is T-Board from Daily Shit Show, amateur beer connoisseur. I'm here testing out F.U. Sandy, also known as Forever Unloved Sandy by Flying Fish, with my friend Paul from Tapped SJ. I'm going to give you my little input on it. Mm. It's got a strong, strong beginning, nice middle, comes very smooth at the end. It's forever all, all in all good beer. I would not say it's unloved. This is Matt Crown of Duck Sauce Media in association with Nub TV. I'm going to try it for you. I previously stated, it goes down smooth and easy, kind of like your ex-girlfriend. Hanging out with Tap Test J, with Paul, testing out F.U. Sandy just like the other boys did. I'm Ben Gravy, local merchant, business owner. Um, I'm just going to test out this brew and let you know what I think. Goes down easy. A lot of flavor. Very sweet. I would say it's the perfect summer ale. Alright, it's me, Paul, again. Brewmeister from tapdsj.wordpress.com. I guess we'll go ahead and give it a taste. Dude, if you don't buy that website, Sam. I should just buy it. Yeah. No, it's pretty good. It's got a, a lot of kind of sweet citrusy and floral hop scents to it. Uh, when you taste it, it's got big, big hop presence uh, without being overpowering. Um, good beer. If you want to come party with me, then grab on for me. We'll be drinking for a week.